During Prohibition, corruption reached nearly every layer of Detroit life. Protecting children was one of the driving concerns of Prohibition. Now, as the noble experiment came undone here, there was still one failure to come, one last chapter to the story. It started, I was about 11, and uh, I went on all the way up until I was about 14. Well, they would give us this cut moonshine that they used to uh, mix over on the east side, and uh, as kids, we would go uh, put these flat planks in our lumberjacks, you know, and go downtown to the Toller Hotel or the Statler Hotel and wait for a salesman to come out and he'd go up to him and ask him, would you like to buy some whiskey? So he'd say, is this the good stuff? He'd say, oh, yeah, right off the boat, you know, and we'd sell it to him and we'd get $8 a pint. It uh, proved that there was some money to be made with the grown-ups and uh, all of us at an early age got into it. Oh, we used to go to Blind Pigs when I was younger, too young to be there. The Detroit News had a big expose about grammar children, uh, grammar school children literally being drunk. Grammar school children, schools in middle class neighborhoods, it didn't seem to be much of a respecter of class, would be found drunk and there'd be bootleggers and blind pigs in school areas. I was going with a girl that was going to Western High School and I asked her, I says, well, I'd like to find some good whiskey. And she says, I can get it for you. And so I went over at 4 o'clock in front of Western, and she was there with her brother. He opened his uh, school book case, and there was pints of whiskey in the school book case. Parents begin insisting on what they call safety patrols to police the areas around schools. We get a prestige school like Cass Tech, uh, where the students in the school were not allowed to go out for lunch for fear that they would be accosted by a bootlegger who would try to sell them some booze. We get one school that's literally closed, the Bishop School, because they just couldn't control the drinking in the area. I know exactly the impression that my brother and, uh, and, and, and kids got. They got the impression that uh, uh, life as such was uh, a cheating life. Cheating because the father, my, my father and, and other, all the other kids' fathers were sneaking drinks. They were making bees beer, they were drinking rot gut, they were drinking winos, they were doing all kinds of... And these kids couldn't believe that their, that their families or that their, their fathers and, and, uh, were, uh, uh, would uh, break the law and do all that. So it made a kid think, well, wasn't it? I don't think so very much of the United States laws. There was no law. There was absolutely no law during prohibition. And as young as I was, I can still know that. 